that was a complete waste of time. I was trying to get the measurements of the front and rear bags. Uh, the reason for this is I want to replace my bags. Um, not necessarily the entire strut or the entire part, but I really want to swap out the bags themselves, just the part that is basically the spring. The reason for this is my front passenger side rubbed a bit. I don't really feel comfortable continuing driving it like that, uh, but for the life of me, driver's side, I could not get the actual bag off the strut. I was putting a crap ton of weight on it, trying to get it free. Um, I even ended up using my old timing belts and wrapping it around and using a really long uh, spanner wrench and I could not for the life of me to get it off. Uh, it was getting to the point to where the vise was going to damage the threads if I continued to really push down on it. So I put the whole thing back together and it's back on the car. I just ran the car, checked for leaks, it is not leaking. So I, well that's super bright. So I, I don't know what to do now. So that is definitely gonna go on the back burner. I'm gonna wait on that. Uh, it still is something that I'm going to look into fixing. Uh, if I end up parking the STI for a bit, I'll try to remove the passenger side, see if I can at least get that off. If I can, then I'll maybe just order a new one from Airlift. We'll see, but the driver's side will not come off. I also removed the rear because I wanted to get away from the sleeves. I wanted to get a double bellow style to go up and down. I just find the sleeves that are not as accurate as they could be. Uh, so that is that. But other than being a complete waste of time, <laughs> I, I got the car back together and she is ready to come back. She's back guys, back for the summer. I'm gonna get the wheels on today, but I'm not gonna pull her out. Tomorrow I'll be back and we gotta give this thing a deep clean. And I will show you why tomorrow. Just quickly before I put the wheels on, the front hit when I damaged my oil pan must have been so bad that I ended up hitting, I guess, the fender liner, completely cracked it. I can now put my fingers in there. Uh, I lost a couple clips, lost one there. I also just rubbed like crazy. The whole part up here is basically like melted off. Like I can pull that off. So that's cool. I rubbed up there. That's exposed metal. Uh, I think there's somewhere else exposed metal over there as well. Exposed metal, pretty cool. So I'm just gonna hit all that exposed metal with some fluid film and I'm gonna call it a day. I wouldn't mind upgrading to the Big Rider Slam series. I think that's a good set of bags. Even if I just did the fronts, I think that'd be a pretty good uh, upgrade. So, not today though. Welcome back to the next day. Before I tell you the issue we have, let's go ahead and pull the old girl out. She should be ready to go now. First things first, this thing needs a good cleaning. I don't know if you could pick it up, uh, but it's really dirty. Got a couple battle scars over the winter, love it. Uh, but the worst thing, and I think I mentioned it in an old video, is we got mouse droppings. Now, I don't know if you can see right there. There's one, there's some in there. There's all these little like goopy looking things. Pretty sure it's mouse pee, uh, even in there. It's just wet and just dirty. There's mouse droppings. And I just gotta go through and clean everything up. I just wanna make sure there's nothing, like no trail of mice anywhere. Like I, I did the whole peppermint tea bag thing. I ended up throwing in like the bounty dryer sheets. I've never had it this bad, but I gotta go through, clean it, inspect it. Like I'm thinking about going and removing the cabin air filter just to check, see if there's anything in there. Like so far she starts up without an issue. There's a couple little bits right there. I'll probably have to remove the rear seat just to check. So I remember before there were some mouse droppings back there, but even there, it looks like it's a little wet where that tea bag is. Oh, there's a poop over there. The zoom is so slow, but there's a poop right there. Love it. So I guess we'll just go through, clean it up, see what we can find. I know even in the trunk, I found something. We're gonna go through, check it all out, check the trunk, get this thing clean and hopefully back on the road. 
was just gonna say you're saying we're. Yeah, we're. Like, we're in this together. We're it. We're a team. It's just you. We're a team. <laughs> So I just pulled out the cabin air filter. Uh, unfortunately, we did have mice. As you can see, there's a ton of mouse droppings. And even more unfortunate is I'm gonna have to reuse this for a bit. <laughs> you see it all? Yeah. Uh, no nest, from what I could tell. I'm gonna clean that out. So I'm going to just dump this, give it a quick cleaning, throw it back in. I will order a new one, and I was debating on ordering a new one, so. I'll definitely order that now. So far, we haven't seen anything crazy. What, just nuggies? Just nuggets. Just some nuggets. Uh, so I wanna get this car full wash, but before I do that, including the engine bay, I wanna wash the engine bay too. Before I do that, I have a bunch of missing clips from my hood scoop uh, funnel, I guess you would call it. And I drilled out the holes before, but I ended up just pop breaking the clips who weren't big enough. So I ordered a bunch of new clips. This is the number if you want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill it out. What's the size? I have no idea. I'm just gonna drill it until it doesn't break. So I got them all in now. I missed two that are up in there. Honestly, it should be fine. I've been running it like this for a year and it hasn't been an issue, but it's just nice to have all the clips in. Let's go ahead, get this girl wash. Anyone knows why my coolant hoses are turning white? Please tell me because it has been doing this ever since I pulled the engine out and got the engine rebuilt. Don't know why, very odd. clean good as new uh, she has a couple battle scars from storage a couple scratches in the back I'll see if I can buff them out I don't know if you could see them there's one there a couple there one long one going down overall did not find any mice in it um, I didn't get a chance to pull off the fuel pump cover I didn't get a chance to go into like the actual trunk just don't have time but I will go into that because I do want to rip apart the air suspension and go through it completely so that is a plan of mine this year uh, but that is it guys, looking good as new. I'm happy that mice did not damage anything. Um, I gotta go out for a family dinner, so I'll be back. Uh, maybe we'll give you some driving footage for you guys. I don't know if I've ever done it. I haven't done it on this camera, so let's do that. It's so loud because either I haven't driven it in a long time mm -hmm. 
more because I emptied out the trunk. Maybe. Thank God that is gone. As you can see, we did some driving. Car's been driving good. And to be honest, I think she drives straighter than the Legacy. But it's good to see that my alignment did something. <laughs> I'm excited to have the STA back. I've been missing it. It's been a long couple of months without it. Uh, modification wise, what are we doing? I have a couple things that I've had over the last couple of years that I have not done that I've been holding on to. So I'd like to get those done. Um, I'd like to get into powder coating. So if you guys are interested in that, stick around. I'm going to try to get into powder coating. Uh, wouldn't mind getting into like some custom fabrication stuff. You'll see. You'll have to stick around if you're interested into what is going to be going on with the STI. Please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And take it easy.